Did Lego lie to us when they said that the new Lego City ship will float on water? Well, we will find out and not just in a normal bathtub, but in a real river with a lot of flow. Not a great plan. This set was just released in 2023 with more than 800 pieces. It comes in this big giant box, which is kind of unique because it opens in two pieces. I really like that that makes it possible to store the ship after you played with it. If you have never built a floating Lego ship, well, the principle is quite simple. You have these two pieces that come together and form the hull of the ship. And in the case of this giant boat, we will have two of them that connect together with a Technic construction. The final length of the set is 71 centimeters or 28 inches, quite massive to be honest. And you also have a lot of play features for kids, even if you're not using it with water. A total of seven minifigures is included, as well as this little ship rack, which will of course not float. Then you have a little helicopter, which can also land on the ship, as well as this little boat. This will also float in your bathtub. But the highlight is this massive new orca fish. This is a completely new molded piece. You can open up the mouth and you can also attach a minifigure to his back. The functions on the ship are also quite nice. You can open up a little bay in the middle of the ship. Then there are rooms for the crew as well as for the captain and a little crane. But now on to the next part. We have to prepare the ship for takeoff. Of course, I don't want it to get lost. That's why I attached a little rope in the hull of the ship and a camera on top for extra footage. I did the first test here where the water is very relaxed and smooth and while well, Lego didn't lie, the ship really floated on the water. It was actually quite nice to see this happening. But what happens when we go to a place where the water is way faster? Let's see, we docked off here at this little point and then got into the river. It kind of worked, it kind of didn't work also because the ship was just going sideways like a drift. But then we were caught in this bay area where two flows of water met each other and our ship just turned like a circle around. We needed a new location for sure and we found it on the other side of the river. Here the water was going very, very fast and we tried to hit this flow of water by pushing the ship out on the furthest point and we succeeded. Maybe we succeeded a little bit too much. The ship got in the flow and then the rope got stuck on the bottom of the river and turned our ship upside down. I was in shock when I saw this and we quickly pulled the boat back in and I couldn't believe it. There was only one piece missing on the ship. No joke, this round ball on top was gone, but all the other parts are still there to this day. Kind of really awesome and we gave it another try, hoping not to sink it again. And this time it worked very, very well. The boat hit the flow, got with it and I couldn't imagine a better end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this experiment. You can find more videos of me. Subscribe